doon din nagsimula, bro, yung aking trademark principle na be the orange among apples. Doon din nagsimula. Kasi ang, ang ano ko doon, how can we be different from the rest of the industry player na nandyan na napapasok kami isang baguhan na kung papasok kami as traditional, as isang freight cargo company, eh parang wala namang pinagkaiba. And the price war will be the best option. So, hindi namin tinignan yun. Tinignan namin, what would be our differentiator? Ito ang need, ito ang pain points sa mga marketing practitioner ng trade marketing ng brand at uh, uh, team sa isang mga kumpanya. And then based on the pain points, how do we solve the pain points? Okay guys, for those na tumawid sa second channel, we're back with Paolo Tibig. This time, in the first video, we talked about uh, his sector picks. What are the sectors that will perform or will not do well in this lockdown slash coronavirus era? Now, Paolo Tibig is a very, very accomplished businessman, very, very accomplished person in the logistics industry. He's a go negotio mentor. Pero this is what I always believe in. Eh. Don't just look at the person's success. Look at ano yung pinagdaanan niya bago siya naging successful. Bago siya naging sobrang yaman. So, I'm excited to bring back in the vlog, Paolo Tibig, CEO of Vcargo. Paolo, take us back. Paano nagsimula ang iyong road sa kayamanan? Yung mother ko kasi isang public high school teacher. And then yung tatay ko isang OCW noong araw. Overseas contract worker. OF, OFW ngayong mga panahon na yun. So, hindi siya nagtagal na pagtutrabaho sa abroad. Isa siyang bartender sa isang uh, hotel in uh, Dubai and Bahrain. Siguro mga apat na taon lang, umuwi ng Pilipinas. Kasi ang gusto niyang makita na mas makita niya kaming lumaki ng tama yung values at yung character versus yung kikitain niya dun sa abroad. So, given that, Pagbalikin ng Pilipinas, siyempre, typically, for OFW, OCW, ano yung gagawin ko? Di ba? Parang ganyan. So, ang ginawa niya roon, nag, uh, nagtinda-tinda ng iba't ibang pwedeng gawin, nag-banana queue, nag-shop out, nagbenta ng uh, yung mga ceramics na galing sa Pampanga, nagtinda ng mga household uh, cleaning materials, yung mga panglinis sa bahay, at yung huli, nagtinda ng langis. Yung langis na to, ito yung mga tuti oil o ito yung mga langis na ginagamit sa mga sasakyan. Yung ginagamit sa tricycle, yung mga nakabote. Yung mga nung araw ko nakikita nyo noon, yung mga nakatakal lang siya. So, doon nagsimula yung parang entrepreneurial environment. I, I remember, mga high school days ko yun, na yung tatay namin requires us na nandun sa langisan, kung tawagin dito sa probinsa at that time, ang karaniwang mga customers namin, mga tricycle drivers, mga GP drivers, at yung mga gumagamit ng langis. I remember fully, two weeks after high school, niluwas ako ng nanay ko sa Maynila, dinala ako sa, sa ninong ko na nasa customs brokerage dyan sa Menaia, at uh, ipinasok ako ng trabaho. Nag, doon ako nag-start ng working student from uh, first year. Hindi ko nga na ano yung, hindi ko nga na-enjoy yung bakasyon after high school. Kasi, Parang ikalawang linggo pa lang, niluwas na ako ng Maynila. So dito ako, nag-start ako ng messenger, nag-start ako ng delivery boy. Alam mo yung mga personal effects, ito yung mga galing Saudi, galing ng Dubai, na mga padala ng mga, mga Filipino OFWs natin, nag-deliver sa mga bahay-bahay. Yun yung unang mga trabaho ko, sumasama ako doon. Kasi may tip yun, pag Sabado linggo. So, yun yung pinapandagdag ko ng ng baon. Kumbaga, hindi na ako nag, nagre-rely dun sa aking mga magulang na nandito sa probinsya, napadalan pa ako ng baon. So, yung pagiging working student ko mula first year hanggang fourth year, ito yung nagbigay sa akin ng, ng maagang maagang ring pananaw dun sa uh, alam nyo sa pagtatrabaho at namulat kahit pa paano dun siguro sa mga ano yung pwedeng alternatibo bilang isang empleyado. So, dito, Marvin, uh, eto ayaw paniwalaan ng karamihan, natutulog talaga ako noon sa it's either sirang folding bed o la mesa kasi doon na kami tumira sa, ano, doon sa opisina, pinayagan kami ng ninong ko that time, kaming mga ilang mga taga-probinsya, sama-sama kami doon, 
nasa cartoon kami, ano may nasa may basurahan malapit, kung sa mga ilalim ng lamesa, para makalibre kami ng, ano, ng, ng, ng dorm sa Maynila. Ngayon ko lang nalaman niya na tagal na ako takilala, Paolo TV, na natulog ka sa cardboard. Naramdaman mo ba na ang bihirang buhay ito, parang ang hirap-hirap ko? Nandun ba yun? Or you were optimistic at that time na sandali lang ito magiging uh, magkakaroon ako ng rancho sa bataan balang araw, tapos magiging CEO ako ng isang logistics company? Ang ano ko si Don, yung makatulong sa magulang mo. Eh. Hmm. Yung hindi ka na maging pabigat. Hmm. Dahil siyempre, di ba, um, ano ba ang kabuhayan ng isang pumalik na OCW? nag struggle kayo dun sa maliit na langisan. Yung parang at least yung pangkain yun, nakukuha nyo dun. Um, during those years naman na working student ako, nag-enjoy naman ako nun. In fact, um, hindi ko na tinignan anong course yung pinakamaganda yung makukuha ko. Eh. So, ang, ang naging basis ko nun, ano ang pinakamalapit na eskwelahan dun sa pinapasukan ko. Kaya ako napunta ng Pats College of Aeronautics. Yan. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi walking distance yun, kung alam niyo po mga viewers natin yung domestic airport ngayon, kung nasa yung Cebu Pacific Building, yun po yung aming eskwela at that time. Alam mo, tanda-tanda ako nakalagay doon sa yearbook ko na uh, very general, to be parang successful in my own right. <laughs> parang napaka-general nung, 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 nung quote na ganyan. Ano ang point ko doon? Ang point ko doon, regardless kung makatapos ako, I need to do something that I'll be successful in my own right. From my typical hopping from one company to another, it follows that parang hindi ako pang corporate. Parang may hinahanap ako na gusto kong magnegosyo. Kaya yung mga panahon na yun, while working, nagtry ako ng iba-ibang negosyo. Nagtry ako ng maligliit na t-shirt trading ako. Nagnata di ko ako production. Kung ano yung uso nun, kung ano yung uso nun, I'm a typical usuwer. <laughs> Nagpa-follow din ako ng mga uso. Nata de coco. Handmade, would you believe bro? Handmade paper uh, making. Nag, nag-enroll ako sa mga TLRC the time, Technology and Library Resource Center ng gobyerno. Just to see ano yung mga pwede kong gawin. So, ibig sabihin, from, from that end pa lamang, parang ayoko siya mag-employer. Gusto kong magnegosyo. Kasi eventually nagkasakit yung tatay ko sa liver cirrhosis. And then I was forced na mag-resign uh, kasi bilang panganay, di ba, para pangalagaan. At eventually namatay din siya. So anong gagawin ko? It was during that time na nag-start kami ng laundry business. Yun yung mga panahon na uh, El Nino crisis, kakulangan ng tubig. Uh, yun yung naging oportunidad ko para to come up with that certain uh, business model, which is laundry. Sabi ko nga, yung unang lib- librong nilabas ko, yung best-selling book na Strategies of the Champion and the Group, yun yung unang-unang chapter, yung C2C, Crisis Turns to Cash. Na yung crisis na naranasan ko that time, yun yung nagbigay sa amin ng kabuhayan, yun yung nagbigay sa amin ng oportunidad para uh, magkaroon ng, 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 ng cash, ng, ng, ng negosyo, yung laundry na yun. So, naborn siya out of that crisis ng kakulangan sa tubig. Parang sabi ko nga, similarly with now, what is happening ngayon, di ba? COVID-19. The principle of C2C still works. Now, it's about us, tayong mga, yun, mga viewers, I will challenge each and every one. Ano yung C2C na nakita mo? Ano yung out of this crisis? Ano yung opportunity na nakita mo to get into negosyo, to get into uh, parang earnings, to get, to have some income na kesa magnanga tayo, kesa yung alam nyo magreklamo tayo na walang nangyayari, etc. Turn that crisis into cash. C2C principle. If, if it works 20 years ago, 21 years ago, and I'm sure it will, it work, it will work at least in the night. Uh, after that laundry stint, while on laundry, yung lagi ngang complain ni, 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 ni wifey that time of yung mga merchandising materials. With that uh, parang typical uh, complaints, ang ginawa namin, yung kaunti kong kaalaman, although nasa delivery lang naman ako, messenger dun sa Cosmos Brokerage, and then yung wife ko is nasa brand management. Ano yung pain points nung karaniwang mga marketing practitioner na ganun dun sa pag-deploy uh, ng kanilang merchandise materials? Yun yung unang dinevelop ko na service. It is the first in the industry, what we call as logistics marketing services. Parang it's a combination of marketing services requirements with logistical distribution 
parang ganyan. Ito po yung mga ginagawa ng mga, we started yung mga bundling services. Kunyari, when you have, kunyari, isang uh, soft drinks, tapos may kasamang chip siya, kami po yung mga nagpapak, nagpabundle. So, ganun ang una namin simula. Dumating sa sa time na uh, nagkakaproblema kami at uh, yung yung deployment or distribution, parang tinatanong rin kami ng aming mga point person kung kaya na rin namin. That's the time na we started uh, working on freight business. Sabi ko yung konting kaalaman na to, subukan natin. Uh, Kataon naman yung aking isang professor sa eskwela at that time, eh siya yung GM ng cargo division ng isang airlines. Ganun na nangyari. So, nakatulong. Nilapitan ko, sir. Bigyan naman po kami ng parang terms kahit seven days, days etc. etc. Doon nagsimula ang lahat at uh, we started with the freight business. Doon din nagsimula, bro, yung aking trademark principle na be the orange among apples. Doon din nagsimula kasi. Ang, ang ano ko doon, how can we be different from the rest of the industry player na nandyan na napapasok kami isang baguhan na kung papasok kami as traditional as isang freight company, cargo company, eh parang wala namang pinagkaiba. And the price war will be the best option. So, hindi namin tinignan yun. Tinignan namin, what would be our differentiator? Ito ang need, ito ang pain points sa mga marketing practitioner ng trade marketing ng brand at uh, uh, team sa isang mga kumpanya. And then based off the pain points, how do we solve the pain points? We pinpointed the pain point and developed a certain solution. Yun nga, yung yung tawag ng logistics marketing, which is the first in the industry, that capitalized us and that brought us to where we are from day one and until now. It's a journey that has been long, uh, nakakapagod siya, and very stressful. In fact, in fact, um, di ba, bro, nagme-maintain na ako. Dito ko po nakuha yan sa pagninegosyo. So I was one of those na nagkaroon ng angiogram, yung test sa St. Luke's Global. First five nga raw ako that time na simula nun, yun yung nagpabago ng lahat. Kasi nga, siguro because of the stressful life ng kat- katulad kong service-oriented uh, business model, yun yung uh, naging mga sabi na nating uh, downside. So hindi naman natin nila lahat, no? but alam, alam just to be, just to uh, share with all of us, our viewers, na uh, when you get into business, uh, stress will always be part of all these things. Yun nga lang, may mga downside. May upside, maraming opportunity, may downside. When you started doing those businesses, tapos nalugi, uh, yung mga questions ko mula doon, na-depress ka ba, nalungkot ka ba, ano bang inis mo, sana hindi ko na lang itong kinastos, inipon ko na lang ito, kung inipon ko ito, di sana hindi nawala yung, nawala yung pera ko, or tsaka in, tsaka in the same way, Uh, since pinagsabay mo siya sa trabaho mo, nagdinegosyo ka habang nagtatrabaho, uh, anong, naging, anong naging struggle nun? Kasi madami rin that are watching that, madami sa kanila employed eh, na inisip na nila magnegosyo eh. At, uh, can you share more about that? So, noong mga panahon na yon, wala naman tumutulong sa'yo. Um, that time, yung, yung family ko, nandito rin naman sa Bataan, ako nasa Maynila. And, um, parang, ang, ang attitude kasi nun, typically, parang go, go, go lang. Parang you're trying everything na tinitingnan mo ano yung pwedeng makakatulong sa'yo at ano yung magiging, saan ka magiging successful. Kaya sinusubukan mo iba-iba. Ang good thing lang ng mga panahon na yun, yung exposure hindi ganun kalaki in terms of funding, in terms of capitalization. Parang ito yung mga, yung mga sinusweldo mo lang, konting ipon, and then pinapasok mo ng negosyo until such time makita mo kung ano tama. Sabi ko, I wanted to be successful. And maybe, I may not be successful successful dun sa corporate career ko. Maybe in business. And it follows kasi minsan may mga tamang timing eh. Like for example, with that crisis, di ba? Na nakita namin yung business opportunity. Kasi to begin with, Marbs, um, nung mga panahon na yung sa Kiapo, yung sa University Belt Area, iilan lang yung laundry. So, ibig sabihin, nahihirapan kami magpa-laundry. Sabi ko, why not get into this type of business na no-brainer naman, kailangan ko lang ng konting capital dito. Yung nga, yung kinita ko na sa corporate, binili ko ng dalawang makina na halagang magkano pa that time, 12,000, 15,000, siguro mga 20,000, maligit lang yun. Umupa ako ng isang maliit na pwesto, nagpat, nag, nag, ano kami ng, ng water pump, and then may tubo, and then it worked. So, ibig sabihin, it's still about some, alam mo, yung related pa rin sa negosyo, location. So, ibig sabihin, I'm in the university belt. Kumbaga, na-adapt ko yung pangangailangan ng U-Belt 
na marami mga estudyante and ano yung isang need more Manila, ano lagi ang pain points? Katulad ko, probinsyano ko, from D. Karaniwan, every Friday, iuwi mo pa ba yung ano tagdod yung mga damit mong marumi or iiwan mo lang, ipapalodin mo. Binigyan mo ng option ngayon yung mga nandun sa kapaligiran mo. Alam mo bang meron pa kami isang pinasok na negosyo we, uh, nagpasok kami ng isang restaurant business just because mali ang location nagsara siya after three months and nag kami ng mga sabihin na natin that time para na yung mga one million na higit talo oh, talaga. Wow. Oh. Yes. yes. Um, ano lang yung pinaka-key location? Alam nyo, in, in, in that type of negosyo, uh, tumatakbo na nun yung V-Cargo that time. Pero mga first two years pa lamang. Parang easy, parang we've tried the diversifying, which is mali. Parang hindi pa namin, hindi pa namin fully maximize yung ginagawa namin with the flagship business. Tapos pumasok kami sa isang negosyo na, alam mo yon yung prestige of getting into mall ay eh, nangibabaw. Kasi di ba ang hirap pumasok sa mall. So we were given a slot where in nasa papasok kami ng Sinihan in SM Dasmariñas o tama ba Baco or Dasmariñas that time na ang konsepto para siyang uh, American diner parang mini Fridays ganyan mga 60 square meter medyo malaking nga lang investment kasi yung 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 butuan etc etc yung rental etc etc only to find out yung yung restaurant ang maliit na yon naging lovers lane <laughs> alam mo yun yung bago pumasok ng sinihan na yung isang oras e eh, inan lang yung lamp mo sabi ko sana nagtapsilog na lang tayo sa labas mas okay pa to pinili namin yung pwesto yun versus that time yung mga call center BPO nagsisimula sa Pilipinas so pinili ko yung mall versus call center which is a call center supposedly captured mo ang merkado dito nangyari naging lover's day yun nga para hindi kami mag lead ng so much in 3 months time close so that's one learning. Alam mo, these things, walang nagtuturo sa'yo. Walang magne-mentor sa'yo. E ngayon, sharing just those particular failures, di ba, will give you now an insight na dapat pala ganito. Dapat pala iwasan ko to. At ngayon, ang suwerte natin kasi may mga mentors na tutulong sa atin somehow to guide us uh, on, on the business or whatever undertaking na pwede natin. Coming from those failures, hindi dapat ito maging handlang para i-pursue mo pa rin yung kagustuhan mo maging successful whether in negosyo or in other uh, undertakings. Yo. Ito, galing naman. May, may, may question ako, Pao. Nag, nag-post ako ng poll sa Instagram. Tinanong, hmm. I, I placed there, uh, how much do you want to get? Less than 100 million, more than 100 million. Almost 70% of the people who answered Sabi nila 100 million. Y- yung at the back of my head when it was answered, sabi ko, it's nice to talk about getting 100 million, pero hindi rin, di rin nila alam yung amount of work and leverage na kailangan para makuha yung 100, 100 million. Kasi if it was that easy, then everyone would have 100 million. So, for those that are watching, kasi naniniwala ko makukuha mo yun, either business or investments. For those watching na gusto nilang makuha yun, uh, via business, anong payo mo sa kanila? For those that want to get 100 million pesos, alam ko pa, nakuha mo na yung mga 20 years ago pa lang, yung mga 100 million, dali na para sa yan. Anong payo mo sa mga tao na gusto magkaroon ng 100 million pesos? Kasi, uh, isang isang word will not be enough to uh, say kung paano mo imimit, for example. Sabi na natin, huwag na lang muna ng 100 million. Sabi na lang muna natin, just to get your uh, venture going and to have it sustainable. Okay, sige. Una, I, I, I really encourage people uh, to have that commitment. Kasi, di ba, bakit ka ba nandun to begin with? What's the driver? What's the motivator? Bakit mo gagawin yan? Siyempre, given yun, gusto natin tumita, gusto natin maging maganda ang buhay natin. And, Ano pa yung mga deeper purpose? Gusto mong tumulong, gusto mong uh, yung pamilya mo, mabigyan mo ng magandang buhay, and so on. Which I guess, it will be the default lagi na karamihan sa atin. So, ano ibig sabihin? The problem with that is that um, most people are driven only by the income that they will get. So, ibig sabihin, dapat you have to have that commitment. If only to sustain that, 100 million may be, sabihin na natin, tama ka, Marv's doon eh. Kayang makuha yun. Pwedeng makuha yun. 
but hindi naman sa madalian at hindi siya sa alam niyo sa unethical ways i still believe on ethical the values of being ethical you know it's a uh, successful organization are always defined by the founders sa uh, belief and values di ba ang kogon ang karakteristik po ng kogon madaling magliya madaling mamatay ilikin natin yan sa normal Filipino attitude which is ano ni ngingas kogon which is ngingas kogon parang yung fire in us ang bilis eh. when you hear similar motivating words like this then you get ano you get motivated but the problem is until when that motivation will last baka bukas mamaya wala na so that's the normal problem of pinoy it follows not that yung 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 kogo na yon dapat di ba hindi yung madaling magliyap hindi madaling mamatay in our hearts and mind dapat ganun din tayo hindi dapat mamamatay o dapat maglalagablab yung commitment natin in order for us to sustain in order for us to meet kung ano man yung gusto nating achieve whether it's 100 million 1 million 1 billion and so on so commitment there is no substitute really to hard work Diba? Walang soft working. You know, most of the conglomerates, most of the very good businessmen, successful, unless, unless pinanganak sila na ang pamilya nila mayaman na. Karamihan ng mas maraming successful na talagang malalaki, nagsimula din sila na hindi naman kagandahan yung kanilang pinagsimulan. Ano lagi yung cliche o sabi na natin it's always an understatement. Sasabihin lagi, pinaghirapan ko to. Ginawan ko ng paraan. Binuhos ko ang oras ko rito, binuhos ko ang time ko rito, binuhos ko yung effort ko rito. So ano yun? Hard work. 'Di ba? No such thing as soft work everyone. 'Di ba nga? Parang gusto natin ikaw Marbs. Oh, yan lamang pagiging slim mo na hindi ko magaya hanggang ngayon. Brad, 'di ba hard work 'yan? Oy, ilang intern. taon? Tell me, tell me, ilang taon? Mas mad- yung hindi pa pwede mabilis. I got it in nine months. Alam mo, you know what's harder? Yung pag-maintain. Oh, Four years oh, na ako ganito. Four years na akong uh, hindi guwapo pero hindi chubby. So, tignan mo ah. Sabi mo madali yung pagpayat. Nine months. Maintain. Apat na taon. To, to maintain the figure. <laughs> relate that to relate that to negosyo. Di ba? How can you sustain na hindi ka nagpe-persevere. Wala talaga yung you're working hard for that particular goal, whatever business objectives na gusto mo mangyari. Di ba? No pain, no gain. Di ba? No guts, no glory. No work, no pay. No ID, no entry. No senior citizen ID, no discount. <laughs> Everything else follows. It's about hard work. Susunod, attitude. Hmm. Attitude. Karamihan ng Pinoy, always about what? Altitude. Ano yung altitude? Yabang agad. Konting kita. Splurge. Konting kita. Bumili ng sasakyang bago na hindi naman kailangan. Ano yung ibig sabihin? Wala pong, don't get me wrong everyone, wala pong bumili sa mga imit natin yung lifestyle natin. Diba? Wala namang problema yan eh. Pero pwede bang kung nagsisimula tayo sa negosyo at mas ma- gusto natin ma-achieve yung 100 million na yan as your net worth, eh salip siguro master rati muna, eh dapat mga L300 muna. Ano yun? Yung pang, pang sports na, pang negosyo pa. Di ba? Ganun muna. <laughs> Di ba? Parang example lang. Ito, Marbs, I live, I live from the very beginning a frugal way of living. I'm not, hindi ako typical brand conscious. Sa totoo lang ha, ito sana mapanood ni Randall ko. <laughs> si Randall na nagturo sa akin maging brand conscious noong mga panahon na magkasama kami. Pero sa totoo lang, sabi ko nga, noong mga panahon na nagbimigoso na ako, I can live without those brands. For example, sapatos. I can have uh, pang <laughs> a class A shoes na hindi naman halata na class A. Huwag lang tatanggal ka agad yung suwelas. Ano ba yung pwede natin kontrolin? We cannot control similar virus na ganito. We cannot control other people's uh, likes, thoughts, and, 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 and so on. But we can control our mind. 
the thoughts that's running into our minds. Meaning to say, it's about our attitude. If our attitude is to spend, then spend ka. If our attitude is to work with L300 muna and not BMW, pwede namang Bataan Motorworks muna yan, di ba? Yung emblem, wag lang galing sa recto at galing sa nakaw. Pwede naman yan, di ba? Pwede mo nang gamitin. Yung, yung cellphone na ganito, nakita nyo, di ba? Ang hirap-hirap, magkano-magkano cellphone. Eh kung talagang gusto mo function lang, parang talk to text will do. So and so on. So ibig sabihin, we cannot uh, just splurge. So ibig sabihin, lalo na kung nagsisimula tayo, really about the future. Mm. Comment below, And, guys, kung natututo kayo, grabe. Bibira tayo, multi, multi, multi millionaire giving his secrets. Uh, ang, ano, ang hirap maabot ng 100 million na to. Ang daming kailangan gawin. Oh, next. Okay, eto. I always believe in this. Motivation. You get, you have to be with people who always think positively. Di ba? Parang kasi ang daming negativities around us. Eh. Parang ang sabi ko nga, uh, away from negastars and negatrons. Alam mo ba? Be with Optimus Prime. Di ba? Ganyan. Be one with transforming lives. Those who can transform lives for you. Not you transforming lives na negatively. Di ba? Eh, the usual Pinoy. Ano yung usual Pinoy? Di ba yung, ano tag doon? Yung, yung crab mentality. They will pull you down. Di ba? Parang we wanted people, inclusiveness, ang pinag-uusapan nga, to push us up. So, ibig sabihin, away from these negativities, eh, may nagtanong, eh, paano kung nega yung best friend ko? You can always talk things na non-related, probably, to negosyo. Nang sa ganon, hindi magiging, hindi maruruin yung friendship niyo. Still, you can pursue things na gusto mo pa rin niya. Pa- so, Paolo, paano pag yung mother-in-law mo yung negatron? Paano yun? Mother-in-law mo? Ang pinakamaganda doon, humiwalay kayo ng bahay. Pero eto, on the positive side, Brad, on the positive side, on the positive side, MIL, when we were starting, wala akong pondo. That was the time ng MIB. Hindi ko na kwento kanina. Kulang ang kwento ko. That was the time of Men in Black. I have that time, MIL. Ano yung MIL? Yung pinang-bankroll namin nang bumili kami ng isang segunda manong sasakyan, na pang-deliver namin, kauna-una ang delivery van ng VCAR. Galing yon sa MIL. Ano yung MIL? Mother-in-law loan. <laughs> That's what I call creative financing. <laughs> so, anong ganda ron? Buti na lang, nagkatuloy ang kami ng YP ko. E paano kung hindi? Lahat ng principal, lahat ng interest, may bayan. <laughs> Pay when it go. Creative financing. MIL. Mother-in-law loan. <laughs> oh, di ba? <laughs> okay. So, away from this. I think yun lang naman yung key doon. And, huwag tayo magpadistract. Alam mo, kailangan lang focus. Um, For people who are uh, being bugged by so many uh, negativities around you, you have to have that blinders. Para yung focus mo, hindi mawala. Para yung motivation mo tuloy-tuloy. Para yung attitude mo will always be floated up. Yun yun. The P for uh, prayers. Uh, I think it, we always need parang yung divine uh, providence and intervention to get us through with all this. While we know that we will earn, while we know that uh, we can help people, we also dapat have that inner purpose for in bakit nga ba ako nandito? And for me, this particular attribute, ito yung sinimulan ko mula nung nagsimula kami in until now. So, it may be not uh, tantamount to that 100 million. It may be more than. It may be less than. It may not even be worth that uh, monetary consideration. But then again, are you fulfilling something that you have been working on? Something that you can uh, parang share on? is something that you believe in? Honestly, March at this point, ayoko nang magtrabaho eh. Ayoko nang magnegosyo. Walang halong biro. Kasi parang dumating ang point Imagine niyo po mga viewers kung ilang taon po ako. Matanda lang po ako ng konti kay Mark. Kung si Marvin, mga 30-something. Ako, 30-something lang din. Diba? Tignan niyo lang po ang lips namin, diba? Uh, Anong po talaga eh. So, we just need to be happy in what we do. And honestly, I can go back being a POMD. I can go back na, alam niyo, yung very reasonable. I can probably live without, uh, honestly, with all humility, with all this... Uh, what brings with you this type of success, pwede po akong mabuhay nang wala yun eh. Alam niyo ang advantage na ngayon? 
Merong mga mentor, merong guidance, may internet, merong mga alam yung conferences, seminars, may mga learning tools, may mga methodologies that can help you. And then hearing such as this will give you more yung bang uh, track what needs to be done, ano yung iiwasan ko, di ba? Ano yung dapat kong gawin and so on. So nasan ka pa? The advantages it with you. Ta- tapusin ko to with this, dadagdagan ko. Sinabi mo P eh. Meron akong hmm. isang P na pwede doon sa lahat ng sinabi mo, yung champ C H P M P, may isa pang P yun. All of that Bana. All of that is a process na hindi siya minamadali. A-, a lot of us want to get 100 million pero Ayo, kailangan natin mapagdaanan yung proseso para makuha yung 100 million. If there's one thing that Paolo said, it's not get rich right. Eh. It's uh, it's not get rich quick, it's get rich right. That you have to fall in love with the process and you have to do it right. Tapos, yung mas malaki yung pangarap nyo, mas malaki yung amount of effort din na kailangan yung ilagay doon. Hindi siya nahuhulog na, oy, may 100 million na ako kagad. Uh, you have to work with the process. You have to go with the process. And adapt with the process and be with it. Kasi if not, then sabi ko nga, parang parang kabayo lang yan, pwede kang humiwalay, umayaw ka na ng karera, tapos na ang buhay. Diba? Parang ganun. And sabi ko nga, diba, if you really wanted to win games, diba, in, in the, the game of life, you don't need to be the spectator. Diba? Yung typical, spectator will always be, nandun lang yan sa, ano, sa, nandun sa grandstand watching the game unfolds and just watching versus a typical player na you wanted to play the game diba? work with the game uh, strategize the game play the game and eventually win the game and by doing so diba parang tanong mo sarili mo can I be a player or can I, can I be a spectator and that makes also where the process comes in that's where also the commitment comes in that's where the hard work comes in Galing. Thank you so much, Paolo T. Big, for your amazing insights. Nagsimula tayo sa natutulog sa karton. Karton ba? Tama ba? Car- cardboard. Oh, nasa, sa mesa, sa, oh. nasa, isang, nasa isang hasyenda na ngayon sa bataan. Na, <laughs> nagtatrabaho na lang siya ngayon dahil meron siyang maintenance. <laughs> but, Paolo, Paolo just, to end, just to end this, uh, how can they contact you? How can they reach you? And, pe-pressure na kita ngayon. Guys, Sundan niyo si Paolo Tibig sa kanyang YouTube channel kasi magkakaroon siya ng kanyang sariling YouTube channel. Pero bukod sa YouTube, where can they reach you? And if you're learning from Paolo Tibig, comment, I want more of Paolo Tibig. Go! Paolo Me on Facebook. Paolo Me on Instagram. Paolo Me on LinkedIn. So, at Paolo Tibig, P-A-U-L-O-T-I-B-I-G. You'll get a lot of uh, motivational... Uh, Parang you get a lot of parang insights whether you're in the uh, a professional career or personal career. You get a lot of things about negosyo, about how, how company works, about uh, related to corporate uh, parang uh, environment. You get schedules. You get uh, oh yun pala ha uh, yun ngayong COVID-19 crisis. I have done two a free learning session. Go to my page. Huwag na po dun sa account kasi talaga hindi naman makakapasok sa account. mo page naman. Paolo TV page. And then, get a copy. Watch. Tignan niyo po yung video. I have developed a uh, holistic uh, model which I call as Mephis P model para how to cope up with uh, the current crisis at this point. And then I'll be coming up with another free learning session. Hopefully, by the time na uh, ma, na, na, na papanood nyo to uh, we'll, be, we'll be doing it and then just follow kasi marami po akong uh, free uh, online talks online forums from today and in the next days to come so just Paolo TV P-A-U-L-O-T-I-B-I-G Thank you everyone Thank you Paolo TV for sharing your story and again 100 million is something that you work hard for and you have to love the process while doing it. C-H-A-M-P by Paolo. So, Paolo the leader. And I hope that all of you guys... Oh, Paolo the leader, I remember. So, there will be the next Paolo words. Okay, you, you will be the next Paolo word. So, to everyone, to every Paolo word that's watching this video, I hope you guys learned a lot. And then, ayun, that's it for now, guys. Uh, I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon. Bye, everyone. Bye.